So is the screen visible to everyone? Yes, sir. So good morning, everyone. Let us start uh, the lecture. So today's lecture is about uh, polynomial rings or field. So we already discussed polynomial rings uh, in the first chapter of this course. So now we are going to define polynomial rings or field and we will see certain properties of such uh, rings. Okay. So this is a uh, polynomial polynomial uh, rings or or field. So what? So let us first recall the definition of polynomial ring. First, let R uh, let R be a ring. Let R be a ring. Then this set R X in the indeterminate X, which is uh, the set of all polynomials uh, with coefficients from R. It's A N X power N plus plus a one x plus a naught with these ai's <clears throat> they are from from the ring r so zero lesser equal to i lesser equal to n then this set forms a ring however the addition by right? addition where addition <clears throat> is divided by so a n x power n plus a one x plus a zero. And then we have one more polynomial b n x power n plus b1x plus b0 and this is equal to uh, the addition is component wise it is uh, a n plus b n x power n plus a1 plus b1 x plus a0 and b0 so where a n and b n may be zero to define the addition addition of two polynomials of different integers. So this a and b n uh, they may be zero. Okay. Uh, to perform multiplication, we first define uh, the multiplication of two uh, monomials, right? and then we uh, then we apply distributive law to define multiplication between any two polynomials. To, to perform multiplication, perform multiplication. In Rx, we, we first define, we first define this. A i x power i the product of these two monomials is b j x power j equal to a i b j x power i plus g. And then and then we apply we apply distributive law we apply the 
distributed laws. <coughs> we apply distributed law to define to define the multiplication. To define the multiplication. Multiplication of multiplication of uh, any two polynomials. Okay, multiplication so, to define multiplication of. I mean, two polynomials. So this ring Rx is called uh, is called the ring of polynomials in indeterminate X with coefficients from R. Okay. Uh, the ring Rx. Is called the ring of polynomials for the ring of the ring of polynomials. In indeterminate X indeterminate indeterminate X. With coefficients from with coefficients from part. So this was already done. Eh? Now, uh, next, uh, in case uh, this uh, ele every element of R can be treated as a constant for yeah, can be identified with constant polynomial. You know? Every uh, element, every element of R can be identified with with the constant polynomial with the constant polynomial in Rx. Therefore uh, R can be treated as as a sub ring of R, therefore, therefore this R, therefore this R, ring R can be treated as a sub ring as a, as a sub ring of R. And uh, if this R is commutative ring with identity one, then Rx is also a commutative ring with the same identity. Yeah. If R is a commutative ring with the commutative ring, that you can easily verify. Then commutative ring with identity with, with identity one, then this the ring of polynomial is Rx is also is also a commutative ring is also a commutative ring with the same identity with the same identity same identity means a multiplicative identity with the same identity. Now we recall the following result for integral domains. Uh, so let's recall this result. Record. So recall the following result.
let R be an integral domain. Let R be an integral domain. Then, first one, degree of px to x is equal to degree of px plus degree of qx. And the second one is the units of rx. The units of Rx that means those elements having multiplicative in the units. The units of Rx are just the units of R. R. Just the Rx ka koi element unit hoga, to that must be a constant polynomial. Or can say that must be the element of R. The unit of R H. So this also already done. And the third one is <coughs> Rx is an integral domain. Rx ring of polynomials is an integral domain. This is an integral domain. And you know the field of quotients of Rx, so that's the set of rational functions. You know the elements of the power of Px by Qx, where Px and Qx are polynomials with Qx not equal to zero. Now, uh, we have the following important result. Let I be an ideal of the ring R. Let I be an ideal of the ring of the ring R. Okay, I is ideal and. Uh, and 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 let and let this one, this one, this notation. Okay? This is the ideal of R X. Okay. This is I X. I X means denotes the ideal of ideal of R X generated by I. मतलब इसमें I X में जो polynomial is होगी इसके coefficient सब I से लिए होंगे, right? So this is and this B like this you can easily verify if we restrict our coefficients of polynomials to this L ideal I, then that I X it will be a subring of R X that's very similar, but not only a subring it is also an ideal of R X. This B the ideal ideal of Rx and it's also called the ideal generator by this I. Okay? That's why uh, we have used this notation here. Ideal of Rx with coefficients from I with in fact we'll see that this is actually uh, this will be actually the kernel of some ring homomorphism. From that, we also conclude that this Ix is an ideal. So the ideal of Rx with coefficients from, with coefficients from, what, with coefficients from R, with coefficients from I, so with coefficients from I. So I is a given ideal, it's an ideal of R, then we have Ix, which is the, which, uh, which is the, uh, a set of polynomials with coefficients from I, and that set will be, uh, the ideal of Rx. Then we have the following. Uh, then 
and we have this for isomorphism R X over ideal of R X that's an I X uh, that is this notation. This one is isomorphic to a ring over ideal, and this is the ring of polynomials. Okay, the ring of polynomials with coefficients from R over I. With coefficients from R over I. Because R over I is a ring, it's a quotient ring. So uh, this R over I X is the ring of polynomials with coefficients from this quotient ring R over I. Uh, this is very simple. Uh, so we apply the first isomorphism theorem here. So for that uh, we have to define and and uh, if we if we have to define a ring homomorphism, in fact surjective ring homomorphism. Then we'll see that the kernel of that ring homomorphism will be this idea generated by I. So in other words, we have to define the map from the ring of polynomials Rx to R over Ix. Okay? So we define this group. So we define uh, define uh, it's not this phi from Rx to R over I X. Right? And uh, we'll see that uh, after defining this map, we'll see that, that that map is the surjective ring homomorphism with kernel, this ideal generator of I. Then, first uh, isomorphism, theorem of rings, we conclude that. Uh, the morphic image, which is R over Ix, is isomorphic to Rx over kernel of pi. The quotient of ring. We define this by so natural way of defining it is the following: phi of any polynomial, see a n x power n plus a one x plus a zero. अब यहाँ पर ये ये जो ring आपने लिया है ना ये आपने R X लिया right इसको आपने R X लिया है अब यहाँ पर मुझे ring कहाँ चाहिए ये ये जो polynomial आपने लिया है ये आपने R X से लिया okay अब मुझे यहाँ polynomial R और I X में चाहिए मतलब उसकी coefficients होनी चाहिए R और I से तो from the coefficient ring R और I so I will reduce these coefficients a n to a n in R और I that means I will reduce these coefficients to mod I X what I mean is uh, I will write here, I will replace this a n by a n plus i. Now it's an element from R over i. And then this is the coefficient of x power n. So let's you see there is a next coefficient over a n minus one. Us come uh, 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 a n minus one plus i x power n minus one. Sorry, coefficients may uh, reduce karunga mod i mean. This is a one plus i. So this is the natural way. This is the natural way to define this map from R x to R over i x plus a naught plus i. So on the on the left hand side we have a polynomial in R x, and, and on the left uh, right hand side we have a polynomial in R over i x. Now uh, we'll see that uh, this mapping is a ring homomorphism. In fact, as the rejected ring homomorphism. So well, well defined. That's trivial. That we need don't need to prove because whenever uh, uh, we have same elements a and x power n plus a and x plus a naught is same as b and x power n, b and x p naught, then a and same as b n, or you can say a is same as b i for each i. From this, we conclude that a i plus i is same as b i plus i from each i. And we see from, then, from that that uh, the images are the same. So well-definedness is not the problem. So uh, let's see that uh, this phi is a ring homomorphism. Phi is a 
कर रहे हैं रिंग हो मार्च b zero. Then what will be uh, the phi image of the sum p x plus q x, which is equal to phi. Now apply the addition rule. It's a n plus b n x power n. plus a1 plus b1x plus a0 plus b0. Now what's the what's this image? We have to reduce these coefficients to model. So here it is a n plus b n plus i x power n. Plus, plus a1 plus b1 plus i x then plus the constant term a0 plus b0 plus i. Now apply the addition rule in quotient ring here. It's a n plus i, b n plus i, and same is here. It's a one plus i, b one plus i, and finally here, it's uh, a naught plus i plus b naught plus i. So uh, this is uh, equal to this is equal to a n plus i plus b n plus i. Then we have x power n plus then we have a1 plus i plus i plus b1 plus i of x plus the constant term a0 plus i plus b0 plus i. Now the sum. Of the polynomial is in the quotient ring. Okay, up quotient C you have a quotient C up key pass the quotient ring set. And and you can see this is equal to this is equal to what? This is equal to a n plus i of x power n. By the definition of addition in R over i x plus a1 plus i of x plus a naught plus i this one then plus this is uh, b n plus i x power n x power n plus b1 plus i x plus b naught plus i the first one this is a this is a phi of px this is phi of a and x and plus a1 x plus a that's px phi of px and second one is phi of qx now we have to check the multiplication multiplication is also preserved under this map to uh, see that uh, we'll take two monomials. Eh? Two. We'll see that the monomials, product of two monomials will be, will be preserved uh, under this operation.
to see this by a px qx equal to by a px into by a qx. We first verify we we first verify that we first verify that this by a a i x power i b j x power g is product of these two monomers is equal to phi of a i x power i phi of b j x power j for all one lesser equal to i comma g lesser equal to n we have see this phi of a i x power i and b j x power g by definition this is phi of a i b g x power i plus g now this is a polynomial in fact it's a monomial here and it's image by definition it is a i b g plus i we have only one term x power i plus g x power i plus g by the definition of the product in the quotient ring this is uh, a i plus i times b j plus i and x power i plus g now by the definition of multiplication of monomials in the ring and here the ring is a quotient ring because uh, the, the coefficients are from the quotient ring so this is a because that we have seen uh, that we have seen for the general ring actually. So in particular, that's will be that's also true for the quotient ring. Too. So the definition of the product of two monomials in the polynomial ring with coefficient is from the quotient ring. This is equal to this is equal to a i plus i x power i and then what b j plus i x power g and this one is nothing this is what this is phi of a i x power i and phi of b j x power g this is true for each uh, i j yeah? so this gives uh, this you can easily verify this gives phi of px qx is equal to phi of px phi of qx so you have to apply kya karo ek to aapko ye apply karna hai dusra uh, you can you can write this as a sum of monomials aur har ek monomial mein kya hoga product of two monomials then it will be sum of monomials and you apply the first rule the because phi preserves the addition so you can break those monomials then you apply uh, to, to break the product of two monomials you can apply this result to the ABK a i phi a i x i a j x j is equal to phi of a i x i phi of b j x per j so this can be easily done you should verify it <clears throat> so uh, this shows that uh, phi is a ring homomorphism so this phi is a ring ring homomorphism by the ring homomorphism iske baad hum prove karenge ye on to hai so this this phi is on to this phi is on to, or you can say subject to phi is on to for this, let's take any element in the codomain. 
So that's uh, the ring of polynomial is with coefficient is from the quotient ring. So that must be of this type, a n plus i x power n plus a1 plus i. It's actually directly follows from the definition. Don't need to put it. A naught plus i belongs to where? R over i of x. This implies the polynomial. Okay, uh, here you have an a slogan, a n, a1, a naught, they are from R, which means that polynomial a n x power n plus a1 x plus a0 belongs to R x. Or is key of phi image hogi? This polynomial. Phi image of this polynomial. A n x power n. Plus a one x plus a naught. It is this polynomial, obviously by the by the definition of phi, a n plus i x power n plus plus a one plus i x plus a naught plus i. So this proves phi is out. So therefore, phi is an onto ring homomorphism. Therefore, this phi is a onto ring homomorphism. Homomorphism by 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 first isomorphism theorem of rings by first isomorphism theorem of rings we have this r we have this r r x over the kernel of the homomorphism is isomorphic to its morphic image, which is the full ring, because it is circular. So that was to complete the proof of the theorem. We had to show that kernel of phi is the ideal ix of rx. Complete complete the proof of the theorem we show that we show that parallel of phi is x. And this is the uh, exercise for you, okay? You will do this. It's very simple. Okay, yeah, so it's commonly proved, yeah? So we have seen that uh, Rx over Ix is isomorphic to R over I, Rx. Obviously, in particular case of this, so this is Zx over uh, this z over n, z mod n, other quotient ring rogi over x in this quotient uh, uh, ring. Okay, uh, the ring of polynomials with elements from the quotient ring z over n z. That will be isomorphic to z x over n z x. So this property. Okay? So that you can see uh, uh, from from the book uh, Domit at page number two nine six. Okay. So that's 